Hey guys, it's Aaron, the Home for Mobile Reviews, A.C, and today I'm gonna to show you five things that I didn't know I could do with iOS 10 Safari. These five things include pasting and searching, a couple of things that deal with your tabs, your browsing history, and something that I hope I will never ever have to use. Safari is probably one of my most used apps. Um, you know, I do a lot of searching on so Google because I'm an inquisitive mind like that. Uh, but any sort of improvement in efficiency is probably gonna save me a couple of seconds, a few seconds each day. You know, for example, using force touch to open a new tab will save me about a second every time. So, you know, I think if I add it all up over a time uh, or a period of an entire year, maybe I'll save an hour, maybe. So I'm gonna go through the five things and then I'm gonna go through three things that I have been using that I have known about, but hopefully you guys do too. But if you don't, it's gonna be a nice, neat little surprise for you at the end. Number one is that you can paste and search in the bar without actually doing anything other than pasting it into the bar. If you want to search a specific topic instead of trying to remember how to tell it, uh, spell it relatively correctly, you could just copy the entire word, open a new window, uh, press and hold the address and search bar and wait for the option to pop. I personally don't think this is too useful considering that it'd be quicker to highlight a topic that you're interested Press and hold and just do look up. It'll do the spotlight first and then it'll allow you to search in the web. So it's, you don't have to swap, swap through an app using this method. Number two deals with quickly accessing your recently closed tabs. And you could do this by holding down the plus button when you're in browser tab mode. This will show you a list of all the tabs that you've recently closed. The tabs do not stay there indefinitely as we're starting Safari will clear the list, which kind of makes sense. This feature also doesn't work in private browsing. Now, I'm not terribly sure when the lists actually clear. I checked for every five minutes for about 20 minutes and they were still there, but then I checked the day later and then the closed tabs disappeared. So I'm not quite sure. Between, <laughs> between one hour and 24 hours, the uh, recently closed tabs list will clear. Tip number three deals with closing all your tabs. Now I generally, I do a decent job of closing out all my tabs. You know, on average I'll have at most three to four tabs. So closing them using the X's or swiping uh, is easy. But if you stockpile your uh, tabs, my wife does this, uh, you can close them all down by either holding down the done button uh, or using the, uh, holding the browser tab in your Safari. And I will note that this only works on force touch phones, so your iPhone 6S or newer. Tip number four deals with your browser history. And you can access this by pressing and holding down the forwards or back arrows on your browser, which allows you to easily go forward and back through all the pages that you visited in that browser window. Now, the moment you close the window, the history for that window goes away, if that makes sense. But oddly enough, this kind of works in private browsing, which I thought it wouldn't because I thought it'd be similar to the closed tabs thing as you couldn't access that in your closed tabs, but whatever. The last tip in this list is the ability to request a desktop version of a site. Now, once a site loads, you can press and hold the refresh button and it'll pull the desktop site. Now, I think this is really just a safety feature for websites that run a version of the site for mobile and one site for desktop. I personally don't think I've come across a site that has required me to use this feature. I've been running my website for several years now and I do remember back when I first started, they're like, well, you should have a mobile optimized site. And so you would have a desktop version you would have a uh, mobile version and sometimes those mobile versions just blew chunks which means you had to use stuff on your desktop ones. I have not come across that in the longest time so I'm not quite sure how it is useful but if you ever run into that issue now you know how to call up the desktop site. So those are the five tips that I didn't know about. Now I don't know how useful all of those tips are but now that you've seen them you probably can remember them if you ever need to pull a desktop site. I do know that the force close all the tabs I'll use every once in a while as well as the lookup function in the first tip. I think that will be easier for me to, uh, or I will use that in the future. Before I get to the three tips that I think everybody should be using in terms of iOS 10 Safari, if this is the first time you're watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Uh, I produce content two to three times a week, product reviews as well as tips and tricks videos. You can find me on Google Plus and all those wonderful platforms if you are interested in seeing what else I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But the three things that I think everybody should be able to use in Safari include knowing that you can swipe backwards and forwards through a web page by just swiping, you know, left and right. The second one is searching on a page by bringing up the address bar and typing in your topic and you will find all the matches under on this page. And lastly, and this is the one I've been using the most, 
but it only works if you have a force touch enabled phone, so iPhone 6s or newer, is you can get to a new window, a new private window, uh, by pressing and holding the Safari window and waiting for the uh, 3D menu, force touch menu to pop. You also got the reading list and bookmarks, which is something I still haven't learned how to use, so it'll be a, um, another video in the near future. So that's kind of all I got. If you have any questions for me or you guys have tips that I, that I missed, which is very, very, a good chance that I have because I'm only one person. I use the same, I use the devices exactly the same way every single day, unless I force myself to go learn new stuff, which then means I make new videos. Um, find me on Google Plus, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I'm Aaron Ho, this is Monty the Ho. You gotta keep watching because <laughs> There's a little clip about him in about three seconds. What are you looking at, buddy? There is nothing out there. Now you might be wondering, why is Monty looking outside? He's looking so longingly out into that window. And you might be thinking, Aaron, why don't you just let him go outside? It's 19, minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius right now. And it's 3.30 in the afternoon. So this is the warmest part of the day. It's minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit for those who don't know what Celsius is or couldn't do the conversion in my head. I couldn't, so I had to go look it up. So it's really, really cold out. And he has yet to go to the bathroom because the moment I let him go outside, he just freezes, turns around, looks at me and says, what are you doing to me, Aaron? What are you doing? It's freezing.